Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa Pia and today I'm going to be telling you what happened, how I got hacked on my Instagram account four days or five days ago, I think five days ago, six days ago. I'm not really sure of the count because um, today shooting the video is five days. I don't know when I'm going to finish editing and posting it out there. So guys, if you are interested in my look, my personality or any of my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And without much ado, let's get straight into the video. So it all started with me and a conversation with a random person. This person was, um, someone who had so many her things on her on her page so i thought she was contacting me for commercial probably she wants me to do a collaboration with her so we do business together I, if you're a business person or an influencer you understand what i mean so i saw the message from her she was like hello it's a guy um as you can read on the screen i was just being friendly and I asked her if I knew her from somewhere. She was like, no. Eventually, she came and she was like, uh, she could help people boost their Instagram account. So if I'm interested, she does that mostly for her friends. So if I'm interested with that, she's going to help me with it. Guys, so who doesn't like followers? Of course. I was so excited about it. And I was like, really? You do that for people? Okay. Well, let's give it a try. So it was like, oh, can you screenshot? um this thing in your sentence for me i did that and he came up she came up again and she was like please change screenshot this was this and that honestly she gave me an email that was like um boost up i think boost something something with numbers and she told me when i'm going to put that email in my account it's going to boost my account in 10 minutes honestly i had no idea about changing um emails in your instagram account i never knew that when you change your email no matter what going to give someone else an access to your account i never knew so ignorant about that so i changed my email immediately i did i felt like no this thing that i've done i think um i don't trust this person. let me just change it back again that was with less than one minute and guys you will not believe it within that one minute this person had put me out of my own account that was when i was like oh my god i'm dead really what just happened i had an email from IG and saying that you've changed your email to this is confirm if it's you. I was like, oh my god, I've been hurt. that was when the reality hits me, guys. Like I was like, oh, no, I'm dead. So I got frustrated. I didn't know what to do. I contacted some friends and I was telling them about um what happened. And <laughs> guys, you won't believe what my friends did. So, I'm in a critical situation. I've contacted you with that. Uh, my account has been hacked. If you know any means and ways that you could help me because I've been hacked. And these people started scolding me. They were like, ah, you should have done two-factor verification. And uh, you should have told me about it so that I help you secure account. You didn't secure account. Why did you change your email? Really? That wasn't the time to talk about this. Like, man, I'm in a situation. I contact you for help. I'm expecting you to give me solutions to the problem. After giving me the solution, then you can say whatever you want to say because right now the person is in my account. I was so disappointed when I, some of my friends did that, but what can I do? I love you guys so much. I know you guys care about me and that is the reason why you guys were like, why did you change your email? And you should have done this. And like, Please, you know, when there was a, there's a problem, you give solutions, okay, to the problem. You tackle the problem. After tackling the problem, then you can come and talk about any other thing you want to talk about. You can come and talk about uh, the fact that you're disappointing the person doing whatever he or she did. Okay? It, it was so not for me. It was a very terrible experience. Actually, I, I had to switch off my phone. And the issue became more delicate when this person who had my account started posting things like these imagine saying that i've invested in world remit and i, I invested 2000 ghana cities 
and I had a profit of about 6,000 or whatever it is. Oh. And people actually fell for this. I had people calling me, oh, you've invested in remit and you had this amount of money. Some people were texting me, hey, I've seen you done some investment. You were an investment that, like, you get money and make sure it's the way we <laughs> make it sure it's the way so that follow. <laughs> I was like, no, it's a scam. And my account has been hacked less than an hour. And this person is already posting. And you know, this person uh, was posting things. It wasn't just that. So I tried entering an account at 5 a.m. And this is the procedure I used. Um, I told you, Instagram sent me an email. So the email was what I used. And the email gave me access to um, secure my account and all that. I tried that. It didn't work for the first time. So I waited till 5 a.m. the next morning. And I assumed that person was asleep by then. So I tried my best. I think when I used my password, the person had changed my password. So I went to need more help. And then Instagram asked me for a selfie video. I sent them a selfie video. They reviewed it less than an hour. They got back to me. And they gave me a way to enter into the account. So when I entered the account, I just changed the person's um, email. And the person had blocked a whole lot of my friends who posted under it that this is a scam and all that. He would delete your post and then block you. So I was wondering, okay, then I just deleted the post. Within 15 minutes, guys, the person just boot me out of the account again. Now, this is where the whole thing began. I was shaking. My heart was really pounding really hard. I was like, what does this person want from me? Why me? And I saw that um, Instagram gave me an, another mail saying that an authorized email had entered into your account from Nigeria, Buja. Nigeria. Nigeria. I thought we, we were friends now. I thought we were brothers. Hey Nigerian, I thought I thought we were oh god. I th I thought we were brothers. Like, like me. Oh I was so broken hearted. Now I'm gonna post all this on right like online. So you can see the the email, you can see the phone number, you can see the authorized and everything like on the screen, guys. This was really happening to me. So I tried my best to enter into the account the second time again and this time around what i did was i i used the same procedure one afternoon and luckily i don't know whether the person was asleep or not instagram sent me an email that you can enter into your account without a password because i made my friends report my account left right center i was just telling people to keep reporting me and reporting me and reporting me so I think maybe that's what made Instagram ask me to enter into my account without a password. So when I did that the second time, guys, I just had a few minutes. And the first thing that I did was to just, you know, delete all my pictures. So I just started deleting my pictures. I deleted everything. I didn't leave anything because you can't use me for authorization for crime. People who know me will definitely know that it's not me. But people who do not know me are going to say I'm a scammer. Recently, I learned a lady has been arrested in the U.S. with her mom um, for, I, I've forgotten the name of the criminal scene. Like, the person uses, uh, I think the, the hacker or whoever is frauding is using this lady's face for the fraud. So if FBI or police or anything is going to look for me, they're going to look for the one whose face is on it. Now, how best am I going to explain that? It wasn't me. My account is being hacked. By the time I'm done explaining, I'll be in sales for like a week or month. And I can't afford to go through that. So, guys, I know people were telling me I should just forget about it. My boo was saying like, you know, just forget about it. Is this an Instagram account? I was like, okay, babe, I've heard you. But honestly, I didn't listen. <laughs> I didn't listen. I went back in and I deleted everything again. I couldn't just take it. You can't use my face for fraudulent. No, no, it's not going to happen. So, guys, this person is from Nigeria, as I said. This is number. I don't know. If those who want to call him, you can call him. But let me show you the account the person used to 
you know like this is the, the account the person used to chat me or text me you can see it's a fem female account it's not a male account so i don't know whether it was a female behind it but i'm sure maybe that person also had this account to also hack me maybe it could be but to all those this person texted about money and to those i don't know whether people invested because when i checked my messages my dms this person had already texted people and people had already taken another account that that person is the one who is helping whoever that is me to get the money that i got so this is the second account the person is directing people to you guys have to be very careful there's no legit investment that you can invest and get your money twice or three times the amount of money you already have it kind of sounds too good to be true honestly if you you know i've had a situation where he, someone convinced me to invest in this remit thing uh, the person explained that they trade with the money and all that but at the end of the day guys i found out that this remit thing is an app to transfer money from one geographical area to another just like western union it's never a trading like forex or bitcoin nothing like that so if you don't know about it i'm telling you okay you cannot trust these people these guys are scammers. how to secure your account now these are the steps you use to secure an instagram account aside you creating a password for it and all that one you have to do two-factor verification two you have to confirm your email three you have to change your password and confirm your password you have to go to the security settings and make sure that you've confirmed your email password and if possible you can add any questions that, that that means that if someone wants to enter into your instagram account that person is going to ask um, instagram is going to ask the person two secured questions like what is the name of your, your pet or what's your name of your favorite game and trust me no hacker has answers to these things please do not change your email no matter what ah uh, no don't listen to them eh? don't listen to them they're lying do not change your email do not change your password do not give your password to anybody do not trust anybody on the internet i abandoned the account because i'm scared who knows it's like i'm a target for now um i have a youtube account i have about 16k on tiktok i have um a facebook account and everything is like going on well kind of look like an influencer so i think this person needs someone like me so he can deceive more people and honestly i don't want my face to be used for that for security reasons and for um common sense reasons <laughs> there's nothing like that but for reasons that i cannot explain i cannot afford to have my face be used for that so guys um right now if you go to my old account i'll change the name of that account to underscore glamour underscore uh i think underscore glamour 1234 yeah and i've written unavailable my account go hacked please follow my new account so i don't know what this person is going to do the next time okay so I've, I've become just phobic about it so i've created a new account and i'm going to be posting um all my things there it's at oliver glamour and the link to that instagram account is in my description guys please follow my new account let's start this all over again i know i lost followers but there's nothing much precious or nothing much important than my identity or my face or my i don't know which word to use but i can't afford to have my identity be defamed so I just had to let it go guys thank you so much if you've made it up to the end of this video i'm super happy and i know you're gonna follow me on instagram and <laughs> I, I know you're gonna secure account and you're gonna not make any hacker you know take advantage of your account to hack other people i love you guys so much and catch you in my next video bye, -bye.